if you stay status quo, uh, farming today will probably eat you up. Farming has come a long ways with technology. You can see that in the way we plant. I think my grandfather would roll over his grave if he saw what I plant corn into and how much residue is on the ground. When, when I was a little boy, it was all wheat. All we did was farm wheat, and now we rotate. So when I grew up, we planted with a four-row corn planter. Didn't have good weed control. We cultivated. We had to work harder then to farm 400 acres than we do now with 28. You know, we, we used to grow 125 bushel corn here. And I don't think we could have did better at the time. Now we grow 225. We, we started relying, like a lot of other farmers, on, on glyphosate mainly. And we have seen that cause problems in other areas. Weed pressure over the past 40 years, what I've seen is we have more giant ragweed. Makes me a little nervous when I hear that weeds are becoming a little harder to control. Being what we call a small farmer, you know, we, we're the ones that have to worry about it. Our weed pressures have changed and so your chemical package has had to change in order to control them and still get the residual you need throughout the season. With the weed problems we have nowadays, every year it's a new weed that pops up. And what I've seen with the Acron is it's wiping them out and I feel very confident to use it again. I think as a farmer, if you don't evaluate how you do things, you're either gonna miss something and it's gonna kick you in the butt years down the road. If you don't watch what you're doing, you're probably gonna be sorry that you didn't do it earlier.